Hi everyone, this is a review on the Tarot Universal or the Universal Tarot deck. So we have it right here. It is so miniature. It is tiny. Actually, just to compare the size of the card, if I just get my Rider weight cards, which is the traditional cards as we see here, this is the size, literally the, the size of the card in comparison. I mean, it is, it is pretty tiny and just in comparison my hand as well. I mean, I do have small hands, but I mean, these are tiny, tiny little cards. They're very, very cute and I do feel that they're so great for putting in your pocket or in your handbag and just kind of carrying around with you. They're good travel size. So I'm going to be reviewing these cards, giving you my honest opinion. We're going to look at all of the cards as well. So I got these on... I think the book depository website online and I think I I can't actually remember exactly how much I paid but I think they were like 18 pounds or something but I feel they were on sale so I must have got them less um so that's all I can remember in regards to that I do have the box here as well which I did accidentally rip so I just put some tape on it and um I did keep the box for this I don't always keep the boxes for my tarot cards I mean I do for a lot of them, but some of them, especially the old ones, I don't have the box anymore. But for these ones, I did keep them because I thought, you know what, if I'm traveling, I need the box. So I really held on to this and I think it's so, so cute. It's so miniature. So we have an illustration, of course, of the chariot. We have some information there with the hermit. We have the world card as well right there. So the hermit on both sides and then we've got some information. So what I really like is that usually the um, the cards, especially this one, this, this, the publisher or the company of this is called Lo Scarborough, Lo Scar Scarabio. They are really well known for making some incredible tarot decks. And what I like is that their instruction booklets come in multiple languages, which is really, really great. So... That is definitely something that I really, really enjoy. Even as, It even says on the sides here, um, the icons and the symbols of the entire esoteric tradition in the arcana are interpreted by Roberto De Angelis. Probably said that completely wrong, probably butchered his name. So inside you do get a booklet as well which is so cute and so tiny. Again, very, very miniature. So inside here, you have examples of spread that you can do. And then you also have here um, just some words to sum up each of the major arcanas. And what I do like is that they have numbered them as well on the sides. So it even says here, actually, in the opening paragraph that it can also, it may be used whenever you know a normal size deck is troublesome or too large to carry around so I like the fact that they have done this there is also another mini tarot deck that I do have which I'm going to be reviewing and it's very very similar in size you can see it's it's pretty much the exact same size but I will be doing a review on that and again the box is actually very very similar you know why because it's made by the exact same company slash publisher <laughs> so I will do a review on that so inside here you know we've also got the pentacles explained the chalices explained the wands and of course the swords explained and then also it does um, tell you how to do the celtic cross as well and then it explains you know what each of the positions means and then as we go through the book, it then goes through the different languages. So again, I really like the fact that they have done that. I always just keep the instructions in the box. I love the color. I think it's really great. So cute. So pocket sized. Love it. I also love the back of it as well. Just the illustration. The other thing that I really find really nice about this is the fact that the card quality is so, it's so good and it's so soft and smooth and it's also glossy as well, so I really enjoy that. So if we look at the cards now, now the actual cards themselves in terms of the illustration, they are a little bit different to the actual Rider Waite deck. So the illustrations are interpreted from that, but they are slightly different. So we do have that, which, you know, I love the fact that it is still very similar, but it's also different at the same time. You know, it's, this, it's like same, same, but different. So we have the Ace of Swords here. And the other interesting thing as well is it does have 
it written in different languages at the top if you can see there and it also has the number as well at the top and then at the bottom um, it just has these other two phrases okay so we have the tower again very very similar to traditional tarot we've got the king of wands same same but different do remember that you know especially the moon card you can tell that there's a difference especially with the moon card because of the background the illustrations are very similar but again different again just love 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 ten, we've got the ten of pentacles so we had the moon ten of pentacles got the ace of pentacles i love the illustrations on this the queen of wands We've got the Knight of Wands, we've got the Eight of Wands, we've got the Page of Swords, again, very, very similar illustrations. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, sorry, my apologies, my, oh, my apologies, my apologies, Eight of Chalices. You know, they are obviously different in this particular deck, so the cups are known as the Chalices. We've got the Knight of Swords, we've got the High Priestess. We have got the Devil, Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Page of Pentacles, the Chariot, Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Four of Chalices, Five of Swords, Five of Wands, the Emperor, Four of Swords, Ace of Wands, King of Swords, we've got the Six of Wands, Nine of Chalices, Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Five of Chalices, Temperance, Two of Swords, Queen of Chalices, Justice, Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, the Death card, Page of Wands, Ten of Chalices, I'm just going to straighten this out a little bit, the Judgment card, the Star card, Queen of Swords, Six of Chalices, we've got the Sun, the Nine of Swords, which actually, let's let's just compare a little bit. Okay, so can you see how there is a, there's a difference, right? There is a pretty big difference between the two of them. So again, same, same, but different. So that is something that I just wanted to compare to you with. So Nine of Swords, and then we've got the Ace of Cups. So that is the mini deck it is so unbelievably cute um the price of it i mean it is a little bit more i guess on the pricier side in comparison the actual rider weight tarot deck is about 14.99 14.99 in pounds and then this one is more expensive which is i guess kind of funny considering that's the traditional that's like the right away, right? That's the one that everybody knows. And then this one is much smaller. There's less card, obviously, that it takes, um, but it's more expensive. At the same time, I just think that it's really, really great to travel with. I think that, you know, the card quality is really great. I do really enjoy the cards that this company makes. In fact, they only just released a brand new tarot deck as well. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form. It literally released, I think, two weeks ago. It is called the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. They also make another deck which is called Golden Universal, which is so popular. Every time I use it, someone always asks a question on it. So the cards that are those ones, let me just grab an example. When I say let me grab an example, I mean, you know, I want to find one of the, the really star cards. For example, this is what it looks like. It is golden. Like this is all gold, you know. So they actually brought out a brand new one, which is called the Golden Art Nouveau. They just bring out some really incredible tarot decks. So for one of the examples from that deck is this one. It's also got some gold foiling on the card. So you can see that, you know, the background is all very gold and it's also embossed. So they bring out some really nice tarot decks. And I just 
can't resist so I bought these ones because they're so great for travel so I would highly recommend so let me know what you think about these mini little tarot cards in the comments section below um, and any other you know comments that you have also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, do also check out the description box below for information on private paid readings the free reading giveaway my bracelets which are on Etsy as well they are intention bracelets they are spiritually charged handmade by me and they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life and they start from just three pounds free international shipping so the link for that would be down below and you can check out you know how they work for other people through the reviews and all that kind of stuff and yeah i hope you have an absolutely lovely day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching this and take care bye